Hey guys, if you're new here, welcome to my channel, Beauty by Nikki, Nikshala here and I'm very very excited to be back after two months um, because I was so busy with school and everything um, because of the whole situation, you know, everything is slowly restarting again so I finally got my, my parents permission to order a brand new Ipsy bag this is the month of July um, Ipsy bag and it's actually supposed to be my first year anniversary of buying Ipsy bags but I didn't do it continuous I didn't buy it continuously because of the situation so I'm so excited for this bag and I have a special add-on my first ever add-on and it's from a very, very high brand and one of my most favorite brands and it's my first product from that brand so wait and watch the video to know what that product is this is the card and there's not really anything special about it so like we'll just skip right ahead they're just like tips for your ultimate beauty staycation then take a break and the perks that you have with buying a Nipsey bag my first product is from by race it's a pore tightening pearl clay mask so it it's deep cleanse tighten pores and sebum control so I might use this and this is not the, my first encounter with this product um, on my last August glam bag which I could not do a video on because I got it so late I received a Biorace pore purifying uh, mask it's a clay mask again like the uh, this one it's spir spirulina and tree t3 wait wait okay spirulina and t tree clay mask so they're from the same company and the packages look very much alike so it was like are they sending me the same thing and then i looked it up and it's, it was not the same thing so then i was kind of relieved you know because i'm paying for this and i don't want to like have the same products over and over again so um when i'm trying these clay masks or face masks or any masks i'll not be actually showing you guys but I'm gonna be putting on videos on IG so I just shot one with one of my face mask um, on one of my bags I think it's my March bag so if it's not I'm just gonna be somewhere here like the video with the face mask I'm gonna be using and there's gonna be a link down below for the video where I'm using the mask so the second product is from Luxie Beauty it's a brush I already have a blush brush from Lexi Beauty. Um, this is the 205 Tapper Blending Brush. So um, let me get this out. It looks well, it's, it's good. And there's even like a small dent, you know, where I can put my thumb. So, th so it's good. And it's really soft. Yeah, so that's really, it's really soft, so it's not too rough on my skin. So yeah, this one's good. I'm gonna be probably using this because I think I have like, I got a Nangled brush from an Ipsy bag and I bought a blending brush and I have another, I bought two blending brushes, so I have like three blending brush right now. So that's good. The third product is from Space Keys Cosmetics. Um, it's an eyeshadow and they don't specify a shade so it's kind of like a brownish shade I don't even know it's gonna come out sorry it's the upstairs people I'm extremely sorry for this um, it's it has like a brownish shade so I don't know if it's gonna come out um, on my skin since I have like a darker skin tone so it's worth trying it's kind of like this i didn't take too much product so well i can see a bit of difference i mean yeah it, it is coming out on my skin tone so that's really nice the only thing that does not bother me but bothers my sister is like it smells a little bit you know there's a few cosmetic products that have a certain chemical smell or another smell so a pe sometimes people don't like that I have like no problem with it um, un 
I have no problem with it um, until the the smell is not like so strong that I can just smell it like if I just bring it up close to my nose then I can smell it but um, unless that I obviously wouldn't try because I obviously recommend this product because I thought it's not gonna come out of my skin tone but actually has like a shimmery like glittery effect on my eyelids so I'll obviously be using this my food product is a very interesting product because it's from Benefit Cosmetics. It's a 24 hour brow setter. It's the clear version one, I think. I don't know if there's like um, another version, but uh, this can be used alone. Like, I'm gonna use it right now because I do have a brow product, but I don't have the brush. So I'm gonna wait until I buy the brush and you can also use it if you have brow products and you use it on your brows and you just wanna set it, you can use this one, it works either way. So you know, I like this because it has a special form, it's different from the others. So I think you guys can see, it has a different um, wand. If it's the if I'm saying I'm saying the right way, um, so I can feel like it's not too much, except for the beginning. So this one works for twenty four hours. So um, I don't think that you have to reapply it, but if you do, like I don't know that yet. So if you do, just comment down below and give any tips to um, me and the people watching so that they have some useful tips with this product this is my second benefit cosmetic product so this is really nice the first one is my rollo lash curler so i think it's from my july glam bag um so for whatever glam bag it is there's gonna be a link popping up somewhere around <laughs> the corner of the videos i still don't know is if it's this side or this side i'm gonna watch it when i'm gonna be editing it i would like to add that if you apply too much product um the brows or the hair of your eyebrows will actually begin to stick on your skin so it will look like weird so i had like to take it off and then reapply it just a little bit so that it doesn't start looking weird and i don't know if it still looks weird so guys, just don't make fun of me in the comments, or if you do, scam, like whatever, as long as it's like funny and not offensive. Last but not least, the fifth product is from Siati London Watermelon Burst Hydrating Watermelon Burst Hydrating Lip Oil. So this is also like a lip oil for when you have dry or chap lips, but it's also kind of a lip gloss. So you have like a certain glow to it. So I usually don't like these kind of like lip oil or whatnot because A, I never tried, but you know, like it's like too liquid, like, and it's, I don't like this, that the smell or the taste normally because, you know, I just don't. So I am more of a fan of neutral um, lip products. So I don't know how this is going to be. So you, you can do like I did, like you just press a good amount and you use the base to just like spread it over your lips or you can just do one by one. Uh, I just like it back a little bit. So I don't really like the smell so I might not be using it because like I said before, I am more of a fan of a neutral lip products because I just don't like the taste or the smell. So, you know, um, I'm probably gonna give a pass on this for me. But if you guys like watermelon smell or something, I'm definitely recommending this to you guys. So the most awaited moment of this video, my add-on that I so, so, ha I'm happy that I bought is from 
Huda Beauty. I bought a Huda Beauty product from Ipsy and it's actually a bit cheaper than on the Huda Beauty website. So since they're selling it on Ipsy, so I just got this at a great deal. So I'm guys, I'm going to recommend you to buy Ipsy bags and like the second day, I think, um, of the month, they're gonna be asking you to select an add-on. I think it's after your second bag. So you can choose and there are like a ton of good products. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna let, oh, I cannot say. I'm gonna leave a link down below um, of my referral code. So not referral code, my referral link so that you guys can click on it and just go buy your ipsy bag and i'm gonna be honest with you guys if you buy if you buy an ipsy bag from that link i'm gonna be getting like 1800 points or something and i can redeem them for i can redeem them for products so you guys can do the same thing after you buy this so keep this in mind and i hope you guys buy an ipsy bag from my link so on the Hibid website, it's $57 or $58 Canadian and $45 US. So I actually bought it for $18 US and $25 Canadian. So you see like how much I saved from this. And I, my mom was like, I don't know if I should buy it. But I was like, mom, we could save so much. So my mom was like convinced and she, she bought it. So this 3D highlighter palette from Huda Beauty is my first ever product um, from Huda Beauty, obviously. And it's the Golden Sand Edition. I haven't even seen what's inside because I, I resisted, like I got it like yesterday or something a few days ago. So I, resi I resisted the urge to open it. So I wanted to like open it in front of you guys. So I just like hope it's and something just fell awesome so oh it's the um wait a second i'm gonna work it so what actually fell was like this this thing it's huda's face obviously um but i think it's like the paper or separator whatever it is that you know keeps this clean there's just a few Things, but other than that it looks awesome obviously this is from Huda Beauty and you know you like you have like instructions um, on how to use this so the shades are Fiji, Seychelles, Tahiti and Zanzibar I don't know if I'm botching these names but if I am I'm sorry I'm sorry um, and I think it like goes like this and I close it and like I looked it up on a website, you know, like um, they all have um, they put like the the shades and on each skin tone, you know. And when I when I went to Huda Beauty's website, um, the the skin tone that it came out better was mine, like a darker skin tone. So I'm really I really really think this is going to work for me. So I'm going to be using one of my um, Ipsy bag brushes. It's from Luxe Beauty again. I mentioned it earlier. Um, you can, it can be used for blush or highlight. So it works either way and I'm going to be putting it somewhere. I think it's here. I'm not sure. But um, the Ipsy video where I received this. So the first step is to prep and they say apply Fiji as a base to smooth skin and amplify light reflecting pearls so this is the first step and I don't know if you guys can see it and I'm gonna be using this is Fiji wait a sec this is Fiji so I'm gonna be using this as a base I don't want to take too much product because it's a hit of a product and I want it to I, I want it to last as long as possible let me see if yeah I don't know, I think it's the light playing games with me, but I don't know if you guys can see the difference, I don't know, I hope you can. So the 
second step is to set and they say dad Seychelles from chic to temple to set and bring out the pop so so this is the number two step and this is Seychelles okay wait give me a second okay this is Seychelles so I'm gonna be trying this one out I mean I don't know if the highlighter is coming onto my brush if that's the problem Yeah, it's working, yeah. I think. I, I still don't know if it's working. Okay, I can see a bit, like, what if, if you bring it super close, I can see a bit. But I think I think I'm I'm putting on too much highlighter because I can't see the difference. So yeah. I think I just wasted like a ton of product, but uh, oops. Sorry, Huda. I guess really my bad, but I couldn't see it. So extremely sorry again. And the three, the second, no, the third step. Is to scalp so I take Tahiti which is this and I apply it under cheekbones to add dimension and shape so this one I can see that Tahiti is here because it's like a darker color compared to the others so I think I put on too much highlighter but um you know trial and error we learn as we go so yeah and the fourth and final step is to sweep zanzibar which is like the pink shade i don't want to like drop it or anything and apply wait sweep Zanzibar on apples of your cheeks for a healthy glow so I'm using the same brush for four of them but I think I should not but I don't know I'm gonna have to look that one up later or you guys can just comment down below if I should use different brush for each one of them So for me, from my perspective, it looked like it worked. Um, I don't know if you guys can tell or it's, I don't know if it's like playing games on me or did it really work. So it looked like it did. Um, so let's just hope this works. And I'm gonna ask my sisters and I'm just gonna be right back. I went to ask my younger sister and she said that it looked like over here but I don't know I went to the mirror and didn't see anything um, so this is where I apply the highlighter if you guys can see that there's a difference just comment down below because that will really really help because I cannot decide I cannot know like if it really worked because I went to some the mirror and it looked like it worked but I don't know if it's the light playing tricks on me again so just comment down below that would be great if you said um if it worked or not so could i so i could improve my highlighter game so um that would be great and this was like the perfect first add-on that i could ever buy mm -hmm. i hope you enjoyed this video smash a like button on this video subscribe down below so that you guys just receive notification every time i post a new video and if you are ipsy crazies like me you would know immediately when I post a new Ipsy video. So don't forget to click that subscribe button and comment down below if you have any great video ideas, comments on how I look or how I do my makeup, highlighter if you it comes out. If you wanna say something, it's, it's perfectly all right. I'm always checking out comments and I usually reply to every comment so people who have commented me know that and um i hope you enjoyed this video and until my next video 
I'm gonna leave a, a bunch of videos for you to watch until then and until I see you next time bye bye